Not to toot my own horn, but I look cute today. Toot toot. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Ellie Fitz, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, my new song, Only For The Night, is now available on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, and everything else. So make sure you buy, stream, and download today because you just might get a shout out like this lovely person right here. You got some moves, girl. I'm kind of jealous. But if you didn't get a shout out this time, don't worry. Keep tagging me in your videos. Keep tagging me in your screenshots of you streaming the song. Because you just might get a shout out on my Instagram. Or maybe even the next video. Who knows? And also, I like to do this new thing where I shout out new Instagram followers. So, hello. If you see yourself, hey, I love you. What's up? Hit me up. But now that that self promo is out of the way, it is Friday. That means Love Island. Let's find out what we're going to do next. Because clearly all these boys are not worth my time anymore. Previously on Love Island, the villa was shaken when Alexa discovered Cherry and Levi kissing on the roof. Oh my God, Alexa, I can explain. Oh, sure you can, sure you can. Alexa played detective. Pull everyone aside this morning, chat to them. Let's try and make some sense of this. Levi and Mason got all up in each other's faces about it. T, don't start something you can't finish, yeah? And a dinner turned into a disaster. I'm really sorry, everyone. And I'm sorry about the sound that this guy decided he wanted to like make. Not gonna lie, yesterday was massive. Tonight, the Islanders deal with the fallout from yesterday. Mason and Levi hash it out once and for all, and everything gets turned around at the recoupling. Oh my God, I forgot there was a recoupling. Oh my goodness. But first, Jen's been doing some serious thinking. It's early in the villa, and most of the Islanders are tucked up in bed. Most, but not all. Don't worry, nobody's snogging on the roof terrace. Not this time, anyway. Oh, T. You wake up with the sunrise, everyone else seems to be asleep. Levi rolls over restlessly in his sleep. God, my head's still an absolute mess from yesterday. No way I'm gonna get back to sleep. Might as well just start my day. Recoupling this evening, after all. Better not waste my time. You tiptoe over to the dressing room. Alexa! Jen is sitting at the makeup table. She has deep rings under her eyes. She clearly hasn't slept. Uh-oh. You startled me. I didn't know anybody else was up. Why is Jen awake? How come you're up so early? Or can't sleep either, huh? Or sorry, I'll go somewhere else. How come you're up so early, buddy? Early? I'm not up early. I'm up really, really late. She sighs dramatically. Do you mind if we have a little chat? About what? Sure, it's not like I got anything else to do. What's on your mind? Listen, Alexa, we're friends, right? We didn't get off to the best start in here, but like, I've really started to respect you. Yeah, as you were talking about me in the bathroom. I didn't forget, especially in the last few days. So what's on your mind? She looks at you. Come on, if you were me, what would have you up all night? I've gotta guess what's on her mind. Levi, Jake, or indigestion. I'm gonna say Levi, cause we all know. Bingo. And don't worry, I'm not about to like beg you to let me have him back or whatever. I'm over him. Oh really? Okay sis, I think. Oh. So what is it then? Really, I just regret that I spent so much time on him only to have him turn me down for you. And after he got off with Cherry last night, it just made me think. Was he ever into me? Oh, that's none of my business. You need to ask Levi. But you're with Jake now, right? How's that? Oh, Jake. Jake's sweet, but he's too much like Levi. He's serious, he's quiet, he's thoughtful. He's into someone. Oh, oh my God, who? I shouldn't tell you. Who, T tell me, I need to know before the recoupling. Please tell me. But I will because we're friends, okay? I think he's got a bit of a thing for Cherry. Isn't that weird? Yeah, opposites attract, I guess. Anyway, Levi chucked me for you. That's why I've been up all night worrying. She stretches and looks at the ceiling. She's doing a good job of keeping it together considering all this. Don't worry, I'm not angry. It's just, this changes things for me. So what are you thinking now? I need to go back to basics. Ever since I got here, I've been so obsessed with finding deep, meaningful connections. But maybe that's the wrong idea. I think I need to prioritize just enjoying myself. I think so too, Jen. 
Looking for true love is hard and stressful, and it stops you from being your best self. But if I enjoy myself more, I'll be happier, more relaxed, and that should make it easier to find a guy who brings that out in me, right? She looks at you. Does that sound sensible or totally mad? Should Jen focus on having fun instead of finding love? Yes, absolutely. That sounds really smart. I'm not sure or that's a really bad idea. That sounds smart AF. That's what I do. Her smile lights up the room. You think? This is so exciting. It feels like a whole new start for me in here. That's cool, I'm happy for you. Anyway, I need to figure out who to couple up with next. Recoupling tonight after all. And this might sound weird, but ever since my date with Tim the other week, I kind of had a bit of a crush on him. Oh really? Tim's gonna love that. Don't tell anyone. Don't worry, I won't. He'll be pleased though. We'll see, anyway. Look, there's something else I should tell you too, just while we're in private. Remember way back on day one, when we played Never Have I Ever? Yeah, what about it? Levi admitted back during that game that he'd once cheated on his partner. Yes, I remember that, yes. Well, he told me a little bit more about it while we were together. I don't know if I should tell you this. Uh-uh, no, you just, you just told me everything else, so tell me this too, spill the tea, sis. But maybe it's good for you to know what he's really like. She's right. If he's a cheater, I need to know about it. So tell me what he said. You listen intently. Apparently, he only ever cheated once. And afterwards, he went straight to his girlfriend at the time and admitted it to her. The girl he cheated on her with was just some random. It happened after the Olympics. He was in a bad state because of some drama on his team. He met her in the athlete's private bar while drowning his sorrows. He was feeling upset and lonely. He'd been away from home for weeks. They hadn't won the medal they wanted. And then he sees this girl across the bar, a Russian gymnast. And she's making bedroom eyes at him. All Jen tries to give you a come hither look, but her eyes are puffy from being up all night. <laughs> and one thing leads to another and he goes up to her room and they, they do it. How did he feel about it? He said it was the lowest moment of his life. But how much can we trust him if he do something like that? True. Do you believe him or why did he tell you this? Why did he tell you? Because I asked him. Oh, and he just told you? Yeah, that's the kind of guy Levi is, honest to a fault. So yeah, he hooked up with this girl in the Olympic bar and then the next morning he wakes up all, oh no, what have I done? So he gets on a plane back home immediately. He misses the closing ceremony. And he tells his girlfriend everything. Oh wow. There's no way she would have found out otherwise. He only told her because he felt guilty. She dumped him, of course, and he regretted getting off with that gymnast ever since. Do I believe this? It does sound like Levi, or he was just saying that to stop you from worrying. It, it low-key does sound like him. Like, he'll tell you straight up everything. Well, now I don't know, because he didn't tell me he kissed Cherry. I had to find out. Okay, um, it does sound like Levi to an extent. He's so intense about fairness and loyalty. I bet he really beat himself up over it. Oh, absolutely. That's what's so sad about this whole thing. I bet he's beside himself after making exactly the same mistake again. I just think you should know all this in case it affects your decision at the recoupling later. If it were me, I'd at least give him a chance to apologize. Wow, that's a lot to process. It really is. Isn't it? If I'd been his girlfriend then, I would've given him another chance. <laughs> That's you, girl. I don't know. I truly don't at this point. It's either Levi, Jake, or Talia for me. Even though he was the one in the wrong, I still feel pretty sorry for him. Anyway, I need to take a shower and drink a massive cup of coffee. It's gonna be a busy day, apparently. Jen grins, rubs her eyes, and gets up. Thanks for the chat. It's really sorted my head out. Well, I better get dressed. It's a big day with the recoupling tonight. I need an outfit that will have everyone seeing me as the girl they want to be with. True, especially Levi. What should I wear? Monochrome strappy bikini, patterned one piece or basic bikini? Let's see the monochrome strappy bikini. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Let's look at the other one though. Pattern one piece, let's see it. Wait, this is also very cute. I love this, I have to go with this. Wow, what a turnaround. Now I'm ready for the day ahead. Actually, you know what? I've been in here a week and I've worn the same hairstyle every day. I got up early, so I probably got a bit of time. Dazzle them with something new or just keep the same? Well, let me look. Boom, I'm looking different now, oh snap. Wow, I wish everything could be as easily fixed as a hairstyle, true. Coming up next on Love Island. Levi and Mason finally have it out. Why don't you piss off and leave us a chat, mate? Someone new arrives in the villa. Who? Look what I found. Who the hell is that? And the Islanders recouple once more. Can't wait. Welcome back to Love Island, where things are hotting up. It's the day after Cherry Gate, and tensions are at an all-time high. Everyone seems to have advice for Alexa, and Mason and Levi are spoiling for a fight. Uh-oh. Let's see what Alexa does next. 
All right, so I'm gonna go talk to my girl Talia first because Talia makes me happy. Talia hasn't been lucky in love so far this summer, but she's decided to bury her feelings and make herself a smoothie. Has that fruit pun gone bad? Sometimes I don't know where to draw the line. As you approach, Talia is dropping fruit into the blender. Oh my God, that new hairstyle. It looks amazing. Aw, maybe I should do something with mine. No, I love your hair, girl. Leave it. Hey, hon, I'm so excited for the recoupling this evening. Talia's excited about the recoupling? Me too, or you are, or I'm not. You are? Yeah, I'm always looking on the bright side, babes. That's why I like you, Talia. Let's talk things through for a sec. It's girl's choice tonight, right? What are you thinking? I guess I need to start thinking about what I'm gonna do this evening. All right, I wanna couple up with Levi or I wanna recouple with someone different or I don't know what I want. To be honest, I don't. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It must be so hard to see past what's happened and think about who's actually right for you. Exactly. Maybe I can help. I don't wanna come off sounding like I'm on his side or anything, but I kinda know how you might feel. What? Look, I'm gonna get super real for a moment. Uh-oh, my parents got divorced over something that's not a million miles different from the cherry gate. My mom was at my aunt's birthday party and kissed her stepbrother's accountant. Ooh, she'd been arguing with my dad a lot around that time and she just wanted to get back at him. And without really thinking about it, she snogged this guy in front of everyone. Ooh, that's kind of personal. That's terrible, or how did that feel? Or why are you telling me this? That is terrible. I don't judge her though. The divorce was a nightmare. At first, dad was furious. He made such a scene. But the saddest part was that after the dust had settled, they both missed one another. They spent years pining after the good old days before they threw everything away. They both blamed themselves. They both wanted to apologize for how they acted. That's really sad. Yeah, and in the end, they just got back together. So what was the point of that story? That I should get back with Levi? So it worked out okay? Or so it was a waste of time? Or that's the ending? So it worked out okay? Sort of. I guess it's a happy ending, but it's also frustrating. They wasted four years of happiness for no reason. Anyway, sorry to go on like that. I guess she needed someone to talk to. Um, I'm glad you opened up to me, or it's okay, or that was well boring. Oh, I'm glad you opened up to me, Talia. I'm not mean. Thanks for listening. Maybe this is shitty advice, but if you really think your connection is good, think hard about whether you think what's happened is bad enough to throw it all away. You still have the opportunity to save this, if you want, if you think it's worth saving. She's right. Ha, huh. that's making me think about things. But I'm gonna go talk to someone else. Let's see, oh, Terry, mm -mm. How about, let's go talk to Rohan and Jake. In yesterday's sink or swim challenge, Cherry and Levi earned a special reward. And with everything that's been going on in the villa lately, who wouldn't want a relaxing massage from a hunky bloke? Levi looks like he's loving it. Even Alexa looks like she's jealous, OT. Levi and Cherry are lying face down on a massage table set on the lawn. Rohan is massaging Cherry and Jake is massaging Levi. Mmm, that feels. Levi looks up when he sees you. Alexa, have you come to join us? This feels great, by the way. Why are Rohan and Jake massaging you? Cherry and I talked about it and we both won massages yesterday, but we had to pick someone else in the villa to give them. So we agreed that this arrangement seemed like the best way to not cause any more drama. Apparently, I'm a safe choice. True. Yeah, and we're not all salty about that. We're pretty much done here, so there's a table free if you wanted to get in on this. Oh, I could use this as a chance to get closer to someone in the villa before the recoupling later. I could get Levi to do it so he can show me he still wants me. Or I could get Mason to do it and really make Levi jealous. Tee! What a great opportunity. Um, I want a massage. Yeah, I do. I'm using all my coins, whatever. All right, what's going on here? Oh good, you're here. Alexa's next up for a massage. An excellent choice, if the one I've had is anything to go by. All right, let me just finish up here and you can have this table. I think I'm about done too, mate. Cheers, you're surprisingly good at that. And I've had a lot of sports massages. Sure, you can call it a sports massage if it makes you feel more manly. <laughs> so Alexa, who do you want a massage from? Um, who do I want to massage me? Mmm, you know what? I'm petty, we've been new. So I'm picking Mason just to make Levi mad because I feel like I need to get back at him. Like I didn't get back at him hard enough. So Mason, what's up? Whoa, okay. Jealous bro? Levi clenches his jaw. <laughs> as soon as I did it, I regretted it. Ugh. I'm sure you two will have a nice time. Once everyone has left, you lie face down on the table. You can just see Mason's feet through the hole. Thanks for choosing me to do this. I was hoping to get some one-on-one -on -one time with you. Don't tell me you trying to... Mason undoes your bikini at the back and covers you with a towel. Oh! 
How flirty do I want to be? I wanted to chat to you or you seem like a good masseuse or I wanted your hands all over me. You seem like a good masseuse and that's it because I'm not trying to get back with him. I just did this to make Levi mad. We know, we know the drill. I don't know about that. I've had a few massages before but I'm pretty much making it up as I go along. You feel oil being drizzled across your shoulders and then fingertips pressing gently into your muscles. Tension you didn't know you had releases instantly. Mmm. Makes it a little hard to talk, doesn't it? Mason's hands traces circles across your upper back. Ooh, I really hate when I get a chatty masseuse. I'm always like, just let me enjoy this. Maybe I should take my own advice. True. Should I take this chance to chat or just enjoy myself? I'm here to just enjoy myself, sir. I don't really like you anymore. So I'm just gonna say, you're so good at this. Thanks. I guess I just know what feels good to you. You knew, you knew what felt good to me, past tense. Mason moves his hands down your body and you feel fingertips spread out across your lower back. A tingle runs all the way down your spine. It feels amazing. Ooh, that's nice. How's the pressure? How do I wanna be massaged? Just right, it's too much, go harder. I like hearing you say that. Um, enough? Mason leans into the massage, pressing into the muscles at the bottom of your back. The feeling is just the right side of painful. Time seems to drift away. Did I fall asleep? Alexa? Huh? I was saying, I think you're finished. Did you fall asleep? Uh-oh, was I really that chilled? It was so relaxing or I was tired or I was resting my eyes. I was just resting my eyes, you know? I wasn't sleeping, I promise. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Let's go find everyone else. Or get you to bed. Oh! Mason winks at you and walks off. Goodbye, Mason. Oh well, back to reality. That really helped clear my head. But I guess I've still got a lot to think about today. All right, well, since I'm here, I might as well talk to Mason. What's up, Mason? Mason's working off some steam in the gym. I think I can see some of that steam coming out of his ears. Mason stops what he's doing. New hairstyle? He acts like he didn't just massage me. Yeah, I changed it earlier. I thought so. It looks mint. Effing mint! I'm sorry, I had to, TikTok. How's it going? He's looking pretty good right now. Um, I thought we should chat, or I wanted to watch you work out, or I'm avoiding Levi. Um, out of these, I think I'll say, I thought we should chat, let's just talk. It doesn't even have to be about the recoupling. Sounds like a good idea. This recoupling later is gonna be a tough one, isn't it? Well, I guess we're talking about the recoupling. Is it, is my choice later gonna be that hard? Yeah, I think so, or why do you say that? Or not if you're single. I'm gonna say, why do you say that? Cause I just wanna know. Mason looks like he doesn't know what to say. Because of the whole Levi and Cherry thing. Imagine how I feel right now. Everyone's been talking about what Levi did to you. It feels like they've missed out that Cherry cheated on me too, you know? True. Of course, he's still fuming too. We're definitely in the same boat. Or have you talked to Cherry or it's not the same? It is the same. We're definitely in the same boat, I would say, but I wanna know if you talked to Cherry because you know your girl is here to get all the tea. So have you talked to Cherry? A bit. I don't think we're gonna couple up again. Oh, tea. So Jake, Ch how come? It wasn't worth it. Anyway, I'm just saying, I wouldn't have done that to you. Is that his way of saying he misses me? Is that all you're saying? If you do want to couple up with someone else tonight, you'd be interested? Something like that. I think I need to sort things out with Levi too. T, I'm not really happy with him and we didn't leave in a good place yesterday. It looks like you might get your chance. Uh-oh, all right, mate? Yep, just wanted to have a chat with Alexa, really. Oh yeah, nothing you wanted to say to me was there? I was just wondering what you had to say to her actually. Oh, it's a bit weird you pulling her away to chat like this. Oh. What's that supposed to mean? Ooh, they fighting over me, we'd love to see it. Mason and Levi start to face up to each other. Oh no, not this again. They look like they're gonna square off. Try and stop it, reason with them, or make things worse. <laughs> I don't wanna make things any worse than they are. I'm gonna try and stop it. You put yourself between Mason and Levi and keep them both at arm's length. Stop it, there's no need for this. I came over here to apologize again. I really am sorry, Alexa. But then I find this idiot over here thinking now is a good time to graft on you. Ooh, who's grafting? You wanna talk about grafting on other lads' girls? Ooh, then let's talk about what you and Cherry were up to the other night. It's getting hot up in here, where's the teacups? I think Alexa's got every right to chat to me for a bit considering what you did. Don't give me that. We all know what you were up to. Why don't you piss off and leave us a chat, mate? <gasps> I'll leave when she asks me to. Oh my God. The raised voices bring the other Islanders rushing over. <laughs> 
Actually, why don't you both get out of here? I think we've all seen enough of you two swinging your stuff around. Come on, lads, let's take this somewhere else. Talia hugs you. Aww. Babes, are you okay? Those two were just fighting over me. That was too much, or they're just idiots, or that was fun. They're just idiots sometimes. Yep, I'm glad we agree about that. I can't wait until things calm down a bit. All that testosterone in the air will need some time to dissipate. At least, I hope that's what that smell is. Ew! All right, and last but not least, I think is this girl, Cherry. I don't like her. Cherry is sitting by herself. She looks down. Hi. I feel like I haven't seen you since last night. She's acting like nothing happened. You didn't need to avoid me, or we needed some time. Or I wonder why. I wonder why. I'm still low-key getting an attitude with her. You did kiss the guy I was coupled up with, after all. I thought you came over here to talk with me like a grown-up. Girl! I did, but I'm not gonna hide how I feel. Okay, then let's talk. I could be the bigger person here if I wanted. How are you feeling? Or tell me about that night. I want you to apologize. Um, I want more tea. Tell me about that night. What do you want to know? I just want to hear your side of things. There isn't much to tell. I was feeling restless, so I went up to the roof terrace and I bumped into Levi. We talked and then we kissed, that's it. I'm so sorry any of this happened. Thanks. I don't suppose you care how I feel, but I don't think I'm the only person at fault here. Well, duh, you and Levi, duh. Do I agree with that? I didn't handle it well, or I blame Levi too, or it's all your fault. I blame Levi too. Well, so do I, to be honest. I know what I did wasn't right, but what he did was worse. I don't know why it's always the side chick who takes the blame. She's right. Why is it always the other woman who gets blamed when someone cheats? Because, because we still like the guy who cheated, probably. It's easier that way or we're supposed to back each other. I don't know why either. It's like, I know Levi is the one who made a commitment to me, whatever that means, but it's so much easier to be pissed off with you when he breaks it. I've done exactly the same thing in the past. I don't think I realize how much it sucks being in this position. Oh, cry me a river. Oh, let me talk. I feel like everyone has seen me as that girl since the day I came in here. Her reputation isn't exactly great. True, you covered up with Mason. You could have been more chill or you didn't have much of a choice. I don't see Rohan acting a fool, so you could have been more chill. There's no way I would have come into the villa like that. You all knew each other already. The last thing anyone wants is some totally dry chick coming in with no chat. Everyone acts like they wouldn't have done the same, but they would. Her chin quivers like she's holding back tears. She always cries. I know everyone sees the red hair and the boobs and thinks she's trouble. But I'm not like that, honestly. We all did judge her pretty quickly. I believe you, or then why act like it? Or you are trouble. Then why act like it? I honestly don't know. I'm my own worst enemy sometimes. It was just a moment of weakness for me. Sure, sure. There's nothing going on between me and Levi. Really? Yeah. You haven't given me the benefit of the doubt at all, so I don't have anything to prove to you. But. I wouldn't lie to you, especially not now. Cherry gets up slowly and walks off. Looks like I've chatted to everyone. Let's see what happens next. Coming up next on Love Island. We give the Islanders a surprise. Oh, who? I mean, what? Look what I found. Who the hell is that? You won't wanna miss it. All right, so I got some information from Cherry. Mason and Levi almost fought over me. Jen talks to me a lot about Levi, which has me thinking, like, would y'all be mad if I gave him a second chance? That's the question for today. Yes or no, let me know. Also, who should we couple up with, guys? Cause the recoupling is coming soon. I don't know. Le it's between Levi, Jake, and Talia. I don't even know if we can couple up with Talia, but we can try. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and want more tea, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. Let them know about this Love Island drama. And don't forget to buy, stream, and download my song only for the night because it does slap. So have a great day in the name of the Lord and may God bless you every step.